Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. Or with me, Rob Bidoff. There I am with my little friend Ringo. Now I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one. It's called Blown Away. This is the board book version of Blown Away. And it's all about my friend Penguin Blue here, who goes out flying his kite on a windy day. And look, he ends up getting blown away across the sea with his friends. <gasps> And you know what? They end up in a place that penguins and polar bears aren't usually found. They end up in the jungle. And I really like this, this board book version because it's all dinky. It's small and it's a very thick, shiny pages. So it doesn't matter if you spill something on them. It's really fun. Now, maybe you've seen this book, which is called Sunk, which is another story about Penguin Blue and his friends. But in this particular story, look, the guys are all playing at being pirates. Can you see? He's got a pirate costume there that he dresses up in and look, him and his friends, Penguin Jeff and F Penguins Jeff and Flo, they all dress up as being pirates. Look, Cutlass Jeff, first mate Flo. And they, again, they have all sorts of adventures. Look, oh, there's a treasure map there. I don't want to spoil the story for you. So maybe you've read those stories. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you have no idea who I am. Maybe you've never watched one of these Draw With Rob videos before. In which case, I should tell you how it works, shouldn't I? Well, you won't be surprised to hear that we are here to draw a picture today. So you're going to need a piece of paper. You are going to need something to draw with, a pen or a pencil, crayons, anything you like really, a felt tip. I use, lots of people ask what pens I use. This is a brush pen made by a Japanese company called Kurataki that I really like. Um, so I'm going to be using that. You might need something to colour with a bit later on. But this is how these videos work. Lots of people, they tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. And I say, well, do you know what? Everybody can draw. You just need a little bit of help with the order that we're going to do the drawing in sometimes. Okay, so that's what I'm here for. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little bit of my drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause your video and you can copy what I do. Uh, then if you start the video up again, I'll draw a little tiny bit more. Then you can draw. Then I will draw, you will draw, I will draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we'll have a finished picture. And I think you're going to be pretty pleased with your picture. Trust me, you'll like this. Right, so let's start, shall we? I think today we're going to do something a little bit different. Quite often I draw animals, don't I? Or dinosaurs, things like that. But today we're going to draw a human, but we are going to draw a human not in a costume, but in an outfit that they need for their job. And that's because this particular human that we will be drawing today is an astronaut. Who knows what an astronaut is? That's right, it's somebody who goes into space to explore space, isn't it? So sometimes they, well, they usually, they blast off from the planet Earth in a rocket, don't they? They fly through space. Sometimes they just fly around space or they go to the International Space Station, but sometimes they land on planets. Well, actually, we've only ever landed on one other planet, and it's not even a planet, it's a moon. We've only ever landed on the moon, haven't we? Apart from Earth, that's the only other place that we, as a species, have, has been, have been. But who knows what will happen in the future? Maybe one of you guys watching this video will become an astronaut when you grow up, and you will be the first human ever to land on the planet Mars, or Venus, or Jupiter, or something like that. Who knows? So, we are gonna draw an astronaut. When I was a little boy, I was really obsessed with space. I really loved everything to do with space. I had lots and lots of books, so I'm really excited about doing this drawing. And I particularly like drawing 
like sort of space age things like things you might see in films like Star Wars because especially like things like space suits they always have lots of little gizmos and gadgets all over them don't they and I really like drawing them because you can in your head you can sort of make up what all these little buttons and knobs and sliders and things are, are actually do you know they all have a function so I hope you can have a lot of fun doing this drawing with me today right then we are going to start with quite a simple shape now I want you to imagine okay now let's put our pens why don't we put our pen right in the middle of our piece of paper okay that's where we're going to start and we are going to come down just do a little tiny straight line down a couple of centimeters long like that then from the bottom we are going to curve around like that so we've drawn a little tiny j shape then we're going to keep going along the bottom about that far. Then we are going to curve upwards like that. I'm just going to correct some of my curves here. Remember I always say if you're not happy with what you've drawn don't just screw the piece of paper up and start again. You can usually just correct it. Did you see how I just kind of corrected that line there? Because it's very rare that I draw something that I'm absolutely 100% perfectly happy with first time. Usually you have to do a bit of drawing to make it exactly how you want it. Okay, let's go back to where we ended up here. We're going to keep going up a bit further to about there. And we're going to curve around again. We're going to come around and head back over here. Let's keep going along here. Then we're going to curve back down and around and we're going to join up with where we started. Like that. So basically we have drawn, it's like a bit like a square but with rounded corners, isn't it? Okay, now then. About just below halfway up this side of our little square, we are going to draw about a centimetre away, I want you to draw kind of like a very tall thin oval shape like that so about a centimeter away from the edge there okay and then coming out of the top and the bottom just draw two tiny horizontal lines like that then we're going to join those two lines up in a curve we're going to follow that curve just like that okay wondering what that is aren't you all will become clear very shortly I promise you okay the next thing to do is we need to draw another big sort of rounded corner um, square shape that follows the other one that we drew all the way around so we go up here we curve around the top like that we follow it along the top we follow it down there Trying to keep the gap pretty even. It's a bit thicker at this side. But apart from that, it's pretty even all the way around. I'm going to go back to here because I find it easier to do it that way. And I'm going to come around there. And then hopefully these two are going to join up nicely. There we go. Now then, can you guess which part of our astronaut this is? That's right. It's the helmet. We started with the space helmet, haven't we? And this little bit here is, because I think if you were wearing a space helmet to go and land on the moon or something, you need to be sealed in, don't you? Because there's no oxygen up there. So you have to have your own oxygen supply pumped in. So it's very important that you're totally sealed in, which I think means you wouldn't be able to hear anything, would you? So these things here are kind of like little um, sort of receivers. So you can sort of hear things that are going on outside that's what I imagine they are we need to draw one on the other side don't we now because our astronaut, is, our astronaut is going to be slightly looking this way I think so that's why we can see this bit of the sort of the ear speaker thing but the other one we wouldn't be able to see because it's sort of towards the back of his head so actually I don't know why I said his then because I think this astronaut is going to be a she in fact I'm going to give her a name I'm going to call her Janet. <laughs> Janet, the astronaut. There we go. So two little hearing devices there on the side of our astronaut's helmet. Okay, 
Right, let's move on to the actual spacesuit now, shall we? The first thing we're gonna do is coming out of the bottom of the helmet. Um, let's do one. So just imagine where the halfway point is, is about there, isn't it? I want you to do two little lines just off to the side of the middle point. So about two or three centimeters apart like that. Okay, and then we're gonna join them up like that, very slightly curved, not a dead straight line, just a very slight curve, not much of a curve though. Then what we're going to do is we are gonna draw a straight line coming out there, going about a centimeter, half a centimeter past this particular, I'm gonna call it an ear, it's not an ear, it's a mechanical ear, isn't it? But just about a centimeter past that, okay? And then from the other side, we're gonna do a curved line. And this line is gonna be coming down at an angle like that to about there. Okay. Let's carry on with this line, I think. Now we're gonna curve back around. Like that. To about there, and then we're just gonna add just a little bump. Like that. Then we're gonna carry our line, carry on with our line back up to about here. Can you see, that is actually gonna be one of our astronauts' arms, one of Janet's arms. And when you go into space, you wear these huge gloves, because all of the, the suit that you have to wear has to be hugely insulated and um, quite padded and stuff, doesn't it, to keep you safe from that alien atmosphere. So there we go, there's our first, the outline of our first space glove. Now then, here, we're gonna change direction. We are gonna go straight down, just past the bottom, of our little glove. Then we are going to go horizontally along our page, about a centimetre and a half, something like that. And then let's turn in, do a little, we're going to go up and curve around just a little tiny bit like that. Then we're going to go up again, not very far to about there. We're going to go along in a horizontal line just past this point here, we're gonna go straight down. And then we're gonna do exactly the same shape. You can probably tell that's a leg and a foot, isn't it? So we're gonna do another leg and a foot, pretty much exactly the same, as close as you can to exactly the same. And this time, once we've done the little curved bit, we're gonna go straight up and we're gonna stop when we're, we go a little bit higher than that, about to there, I think. Okay, now do you remember we did that horizontal line sticking straight out there? We're gonna do another horizontal line underneath it like that because this is gonna be Janet's other arm is gonna be sticking straight out because she's gonna be holding something here. I wonder if you can guess what she's gonna be holding. Okay, now quite near to this top line, a little bit down, not far down, I want you to draw, we're gonna draw, remember this little lump shape we did there for the thumb. We're gonna do another one for the thumb here. So pretty much exactly the same size as that one, but we're just gonna do it like that. So it looks like it's sort of floating at the moment, but there is a good reason for that. Because that thumb is gonna be gripping something. Then once you've done that, I want you to draw a very tall vertical line. It's gonna go slightly higher than our astronaut's head. And then we're gonna do it carrying on down. Remember, it's gonna to touch these two lines here. It's gonna go down, it's gonna be level with the bottom of her feet, like that. Then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do another line. If you started, so we, we want it just to go just past where her thumb is there. So it's quite a fairly thick thing that she's holding. And we're gonna draw it going up there and carrying on down there. And in fact, we can join them up at the bottom. At the top though, I want you to draw a little rectangle. It's just a bit wider, just like that. Now we can finish off this arm here. 
we need to draw, remember it's got a curved end these gloves, so we're just going to draw a curved end like that. And look, it looks like our astronaut is holding something. Okay, now just about level with the top of the helmet, we're going to draw two little lines like that. And then down here towards the bottom of the helmet, we're going to do two more little lines, exactly the same length and distance apart. And then let's draw yet another vertical line that sort of joins them up. In fact, it just goes a bit longer than they are, like that. And then we're going to go horizontally across our page, like that. We're going to do the same there, like that. And then we're going to join them up, like that. Now, can you tell what our astronaut is holding? That's right, it's a flag. Because that's what happens, isn't it? When, when astronauts land on new planets or on new moons, they usually, they plant a flag on that moon or planet. And that flag claims that planet for whoever's landed on it. So I think when Neil Armstrong, who was the first man ever on the moon, I think he had a, a, a United States flag, didn't he? And he planted that on the surface of the moon. And it was just like a little marker saying, we got here first, United States were here first. So our astronaut Janet here, she has brought her flag to claim whatever planet she's on as her own. So we'll fill that in a bit later on, shall we? Right, I think it's about time we added some nice, remember I talked about adding all those nice kind of techni technological details to the spacesuit. This is the fun bit. So we're going to add all sorts of little designs to our spacesuit. Now I'm going to show you what I want to do here, but you know what? You can do anything you like. This is the really fun part. I don't want to stifle your creativity at all. You can do anything you like. I am going to start by adding quite a big rectangle shape here to one of the arms. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the flag of the country that my astronaut is from on that arm because they usually they do have their flag on so I'm going to do a Union Jack my astronaut Janet she is going to be from the UK so I will draw when it comes to the coloring point I'm going to color it in Union Jack colors but do you know what whatever color you whatever country you are watching this video from maybe you'd like to do your flag in there or you can make up your own flag it's up to you right then I am going to draw let's draw another one here I'm going to draw another rectangle here. I might put another flag in there or I might do a little logo. I might design a little logo for my space company, which I might make up when I get to that bit. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw another rectangle. I'm gonna do slightly rounded corners on this one. I'm gonna do that on her tummy, like that. Okay, and then inside that, I'm gonna draw all sorts of different shapes which in my head they're going to be sort of different buttons and levers and things. Let's put a few little horizontal lines in there as if they've got little slidey bits going on them. Let's put one more in. I don't know what they're all going to do. Maybe they control her oxygen levels or something. Let's put another shape in here. I'm going to do a taller, thinner rectangle there with a few little circles in, a little star shape. I don't know what it means. I'm going to do a little row of circles here. Maybe these are lights, some kind of indicators, maybe her oxygen level, something like that. And then we'll do a big horizontal thing there with a slidey. Oh, that's so cool. I love doing things like this. It's my favorite ever things to do. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a few seams and things to our spacesuit. I'm going to add a couple of lines straight up the middle of the spacesuit like that. We're gonna add a couple of lines here, which sort of indicates where the wrists are, like that. I'm gonna add a line that goes all the way through that, goes through the little flag and joins up with the shoulder. Let's do a similar one here, just coming out there, just running along the edge, like that. Let's add some, another couple of lines here, where the boots, might clip onto the rest of the spacesuit like that. I'll tell you what, let's add a big round badge here. We'll add a 
had a little thinner circle inside like that and maybe that could be where our, that could be where our space company logo goes who knows and then here I'm just gonna add a few little stars three I think and I think those stars stand for but this is what I reckon every time you go into space you get one of these stars on your spacesuit so Janet here has been into space three times so I think you know you wear you wear your stars with pride don't you in my make-believe astronaut world so if you've been up in space six times you would have six stars and then when you go to astronaut conventions and parties and things you could turn up with your six stars and everyone would be like wow you've been in space six times I'd be really jealous <laughs> My imagination's a bit crazy sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's add, just to this neck bit here, I'm gonna add a couple of more, a couple more little horizontal lines just going across like that. Just adds a little bit of texture, a little bit of detail. Oh, we need a backpack, don't we? They always have a backpack. So what we'll do here, just coming out from the side here, I'm gonna add the suggestion that she's got a little sort of square thing strapped to her back you can just see the corners of it like that and maybe there'll be some pipes and things coming out where the oxygen goes let's add a wiggly line there that goes out of the backpack into the helmet i'm going to add another one just like that so a couple of little sort of maybe that's yeah where the oxygen goes or water or something i don't know should we add a couple over here as well behind there we go joining up with the side of our backpack. See, I told you it's fun adding these details in. And remember, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can do anything you like. Let's add a couple more. I'm getting carried away now. Whoa. All sorts of things that are keeping Janet alive as she explores this alien planet. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this so far. I think maybe I should, we should go into speedy mode and I should do a bit of colouring now. Now, one thing I would say, usually when you see pictures of astronauts' helmets, the helmets, they actually, you can't see through the glass, they're just kind of black, aren't they? Or they just reflect space, they're sort of mirror coloured. But if you like, you can draw a face inside yours, but I'm not going to, mine's just going to be black, mine's going to be reflecting what's outside, so you'll see what I do. I might put in little reflections of planets and things here in the surface of the moon. I think Janet's going to be on the moon actually, or maybe an alien moon, who knows. Um, but I'm going to go into colour mode now. Again, your spacesuit can be any colour you like. They're usually sort of whitey grey, aren't they? But again, whatever you like. And do put on your flag whatever you like too. Maybe it'll be your country's flag. So if you're watching this from Brazil, you might want to do the Brazilian flag, or the Italian flag, or the American flag, or the or the UK flag, whatever you like. You can do anything you like. I might do something a bit different myself, but whatever you like, there are no rules. So um, I'm going to do my colouring now. I'll see you back here in 30 seconds or so because I'm going to go into super speed mode to do my colouring. So here we go. Three, two, one. there is my finished astronaut so wow that took me quite a long time to color in that one now you won't have noticed because i went into super speed mode of course but it did take me quite a long time so can you see what i've done with the helmet do you see what i mean 
I've shaded it all in so like it's reflective, it's like a mirror, so you can see the surface of the planet. Maybe these are a couple of other moons and stars and things reflecting there. I have called my planet Planet Janet. Of course, my astronaut is called Janet, so the planet is Planet Janet. So that's what it says on her flag there. I added lots of little colour details and bits and pieces to all of our little gizmos and gadgets on the spacesuit. A couple of Union Jacks there, because uh, Janet is from the UK. And look, can you see this little sneaky chap who's poking his head in the corner? Maybe he is a resident of the particular planet that Janet has landed on. You might recognise him from video, I think, video Draw With Rob video number five. You can see how to draw him if you go back and have a look at that. So listen, I can't wait to see your astronaut drawings. It's going to be super exciting. I just can't, I want to see what you've put on your flags and things as well as what colours you've used to colour in your spacesuit. So what I want you to do is take a picture of your drawing um, and then put it up on social media using the hashtag Draw With Rob. Um, and that way I will get to see it. Who knows, your drawing might make the grid. Um, so yes, I can't wait to see what you've done. I hope you've had a nice time drawing this astronaut with me today. I have had a stellar time doing it. It's been really fun. Don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, to subscribe to my channel. That way you um, get a notification when the video comes out. So uh, if you just press the subscribe button is somewhere down there, I think, on your page. That would be great. I'd be very thankful if you did that. Oh, I nearly forgot to sign my drawing. I'm going to sign my drawing down here. Here we go, Rob. There we go. Don't forget to sign your drawings, too. Everyone needs to know who made this particular work of art. Now then, I'm going to be back very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, I want you all to take care of yourselves. Keep on drawing, keep on practicing, and I will see you all very soon for another Draw With Rob. Bye everyone.